Okay, been a little while. Let's get on with question 10 of this chapter 12. Okay, so question 10. Here we go. Differentiate. Um, let's just call it y equals 2x cubed plus the square root of x plus x squared plus 2x all over x squared. Okay, so first off, let's tidy this up. So 2x cubed plus x to the power of a half instead of the square root plus x squared over x squared plus 2x over x squared. Now it's these last two that I want to look at because this becomes 1, okay, and on here the x's cancel, give me 2x minus 1, okay, and this one has become just 1. So what we are actually differentiating then is 2x cubed plus x to the power of a half, plus 1, plus 2x to the minus 1. Okay, so dy by dx of this. Multiply by the power, 2 times 3 is 6. x, drop the power by 1, 2, plus a half. Multiply by the whole power, x to the power of minus a half because a half take away one plus one just disappears um plus well change this to a minus two because minus one times two is minus two x to the minus two okay and so to write it out in a similar format to what they gave it to us in we're going to be looking at um, 6x squared plus 1 over 2 square root x minus 2 over x squared. Okay. Okay, then. So, question 11 on here. Okay. Question 11. Um curve with the equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c uh, passes through a point of 1, 2. Okay, the gradient of the curve is 0. So the grad is 0 at 2, 1. Find the values of a, b, and c. Okay, so first things first, let's put this in in terms of we can say dy by dx is going to be 2ax multiplied by the 2, dropping the power by 1, plus b. Okay, and the c disappears. So now we've got two things. Substituting 1, 2 into here, we end up with 2 equals a times 1 squared plus 1 times b times 1 plus c. Okay, and substituting the 2, 1 of the gradient 0, so we know the gradient is equal to 0 um, when, the, when we have our point here. So as we put in the x values, we have 2 times a times x, which is 2, plus b, okay? And we also know that the point goes through here. So let's just tidy up this one. We end up with 2 equals a plus b plus c. Substituting this 2, 1 into this equation, because it goes through this point as well, 
we end up with 1 is equal to a times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c. So we end up with 1 equals 4a plus 2b plus c. Okay, and coming back here, tidying up this differentiated question, we end up with 0 equals 4a plus b. Okay, so with all of that, we can start messing around because we have three equations now. And we have three unknowns, a, b, and c, and they're all separate but connected. So I am going to take this first equation here, and I am going to say that minus 4a is equal to b. Okay, And I am going to use that to substitute it into this equation. So anywhere that I see b, I'm putting in minus 4a. So I've got 2 equals a minus 4a a plus C, so 2 equals minus 3A plus C, okay? In the same way, I'm going to rearrange that as well, and I'm going to get 2 plus 3A equals C. So now I've got a value for B and a value for C, okay? So when I come over here, okay, I can say that 1 is equal to my value for a, I don't have 4a, plus 2 lots of b, 2 lots of minus 4a, plus 2 plus 3a, okay, coming from down here. Okay, so that looks like an equation that only has a in it. So I can say that... 1 equals 4a plus, no, minus 8a plus 2 plus 3a. Okay, 4, 5, 6, 7, take away 8 minus a. And we've got just the 2 here, bring it across to that side, minus 1. So therefore, a equals 1. Substituting it back into this value for C, I can say that 2 plus 3 times 1 equals C, so that's 5 equals C, and then substituting my value for A, which is 1 in here, minus 4 times 1 equals B, minus 4 equals B, and so we have the equation Y equals AX, or X squared, because it's the 1, plus, or sorry, minus 4x, and the c plus 5. Okay then, question 12 now. Okay, Oops. question 12. Here we are. So a curve c has an equation of y equals x cubed minus 5x squared plus 5x plus 2. Okay, find dy by dx. Okay, so dy by dx is going to be 3x squared minus 10x plus 5. Part A. Part B, the point P and Q lie on C, the gradient of C at P and Q is 2. Find the the x-coordinate of P is 3. Find the x-coordinate of Q. Okay, so at P and Q, lie on C, gradient of C. So we have 2 equals... 3x squared minus 10x plus 5. So we can say that 0 is equal to 3x squared minus 10x 
plus 2 becomes minus 2 plus 3. So we can say, using a solver, x equals and x equals. Okay, picking up the calculator. And using the polynomial solver. Okay, put it in 2 degrees. Here we are, we've got 3, we've got minus 10, and we've got 3 again. And we have x equals 3, as given in the question, and 1 third. Okay. So, the point, find the x-coordinate of q. So the x-coordinate of q is going to be q's x coordinate. Okay, the x coordinate P is 3. There it is. Good. Find the equation for tangent to C at P, giving your answer in the form of y equals mx plus C, where m and C are constants. Okay, so at, so that was part I. Find the equation of tangent at to C at point P. At point P, at P, the gradient is given to us in the question, and it is 2. OK. So we can take that fact, and we can say that our line will be equal to y equals mx 2x plus C. Now what we need is a y and an x coordinate to find the C. So we were told that x equals 3 at this point. So if we put that back into our original equation of y equals x squared, okay, we can find the y at that point. So y equals 3 cubed minus 5 times 3 squared plus 5 times 3 plus 2 so we end up with y is equal to 3 threes 9 times 3 again 27 9 times minus 5 is minus 45 plus 15 plus 2 y equals 27 minus 45 plus 15 plus 2 is minus 1. So we have the coordinates of 3 minus 1. We can use them to say that minus 1 is equal to 2 times 3 plus c. So minus 1 equals 6 plus c, minus 7 equals c. So we have the equation y equals 2x minus 7. Okay, now finally on to part 3 of this question. If the tangent intersects the coordinate axis at the point r and s, Find the length of RS, giving your answer as a third. Okay, so the tangent has the form, or has the equation y equals 2x minus 7. So, thinking about what this roughly looks like, it goes through here at minus seven okay and it's got a positive of two so it comes up here like this and we are looking for the length between the axes here so this is when y equals zero so zero equals two x minus seven giving us x equals what's that seven three point five okay so to find the length of this line, okay, which they have called R, 
and s. Okay, we know that we've got a length of 3.5 and a length of 7, so we can do rs is equal to the square root of 7 squared plus 3.5 squared square root 7 squared plus 3.5 squared which gives us 7 root 5 over 2 giving the answer as I said done okay that did work for us but all fine okay